Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 14 of my 30 videos in 30 days, so I'm almost halfway and I'm having a ball so far. And I'm glad that you're all tuning in to watch. So today, guess what today is about? Can you guess? Anything giving you a hint? It's about bloating, okay? So I'm just showing my round belly here. I just had 21 dates and about 1.6 liters of water in a smoothie in a data raid. So my belly is full. Suck it in. <laughs> it's full of water and it's full of fruit. And another important thing is posture. Notice how like my shoulders are a bit rounded, chest is a bit sunken, belly's distended. Be because I'm not, yeah, because I'm not sucking it in. I'm not practicing good posture. So this is good posture. Chest Whoa. up, shoulders back, belly button drawn into the spine. See how flat my stomach is now. Isn't that quite amazing? I actually just had a fruit meal only about five minutes ago. So, but when I let my stomach relax and my posture fall, the belly comes out. So suck it in, belly button in, chest up. All right, so what else can cause bloating? All right, this is not actually bloating. This is just a full belly, but bloating can be caused by bad food combining. That is a huge one. If you're having fruit, and you're having fat, say you're having like nuts and you're having bananas together in one meal, you're going to be creating gas and you're going to be creating fermentation and a lot of bloating. So you will experience that full bloated belly. Another important thing is if you're coming from a diet, a really poor diet, like a sad eating diet, and you've got meat and dairy and a lot of processed food in your colon still, and then you have fruit, you come to this nice, beautiful, clean, vibrant, living foods, you start eating those foods on top of those other foods in your colon and you will get this distension in your stomach. No doubt about it because fruit is like a jealous partner, it wants you all to itself. Okay, It doesn't want to share you with any other food at all. So you're going to get that mixing, you're going to get the gas and the bloating. So another reason for bloating is you're eating too fast. So you're like literally gulping air as you're eating. <laughs> and you're taking in all this air, and that can also cause bloating. Another thing, but going back to the food combining, watermelon, okay, this is a big one. I've heard of people eating, say, you know, Big Macs and fast food for dinner, and then in the morning, they're having like half a watermelon, and they've got serious, serious pain. I think I remember someone being rushed to hospital, was that right, Jerry Ryder? Yeah. Yeah, someone was rushed to hospital after eating a watermelon, or half a watermelon, and he thought, the person thought it was the watermelon, but in fact, it was the crappy food that he ate the night before. The watermelon was just catching up to it, and it was causing this massive gas pain for this guy. So, if he didn't eat that food, if he ate like a nice, you know, fast digesting plant foods dinner, and then he had watermelon in the morning, he's not likely to get that. But there still might be a little bit of that because cooked food and fruit digest at different rates. Okay, the more water in a food, the faster it is going to digest. So another thing can be for bloating, if you have an inefficient colon, you're not very fit. Okay, that's a big one because a lot of the population is not very fit. So the fitter you become, the more efficient your colon becomes at eliminating the waste, pushing it through. Okay, so that really, really is a big one. And also hydration. Hydration is a huge one. If you don't have enough water in your belly before you start eating, then your digestive enzymes aren't going to be activated properly. So those digestive enzymes, they need water to be bathing in your stomach to digest food properly. So you've got to make sure you're drinking enough water. So you, you drink enough water before you have your meal. I don't care if it's a fruit meal, it's high in water. It doesn't matter, your body needs water for water's sake. So you need to keep the water intake up, peeing 8 to 12 times a day clear. So any other, I'm trying to think of some other reasons for bloating. I know it's just it's frustrating when you first come to this lifestyle and the first week or two you're getting this massive bloating. But remember, that is mainly because of your old diet and the fruit is just coming along and pushing out that stagnant old matter, getting rid of it, good and for all. So it's kind of like a detox period you do have to go through. So once you get through that storm, once you get through that bloating period, 
You will have a flatter stomach than ever. Seriously, my, I have never had such a flat stomach and I've never been eating this many calories in my life. So I'm a living testament that this works so well, but you need to keep going with it. And just identify what you're doing wrong. Are you miscombining your food? Fats and fruit, remember that one. You've got to really combine your food properly. Please research that. I may do a video on it. Are you eating too late at night? Are you eating on a dehydrated stomach? Are you eating too fast and gulping a lot of air? Can you think of any other floating reasons? Posture? Salt. Salt, yes. Yeah, so sodium is a big one because if you have a high salt diet, you are going to be retaining fluid around your body, especially around your stomach as well. So that's going to make you look more distended, more bloated. So cut back the salt and lose the excess fluid. And lastly, I know coming from anorexia myself, I was not very embracing of the full belly after eating. When I first came to this fruit lifestyle, I was like, oh my god, you know, I'm so fat. Look how full I am. You know, this, I'm so bloated and had all this kind of disgust about this full belly. But I didn't understand that it was just water and fiber. It's just fruit. You know, and it went down really quickly. At first it didn't, but in time it did. And that's a big difference. You know, you're coming from this dry, you know, a lot of cooked food, which is dehydrated and it doesn't fill your stomach out as much and then you're coming to this full you know high water content diet so you're getting that full stomach but remember that's totally normal you know if you don't have that full belly after eating a fruit meal you didn't eat enough you may have weak stomach muscles how much control do you have over your stomach muscles that's disgusting so that's it for today, hope that helped, and if the information did help, please take a moment to thumb it up, that helps to spread the message to other people, and I, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for day 15, halfway through my 30 days. Okay, don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Bye folks.